All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video. And yes, I've got quite the scruff going on this week. I'm on uh, vacation this week, so just taking it easy this week and clearly not shaving, but uh, <laughs> this will probably come off at the end of the week. It's starting to get to that itchy stage. But again, uh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, just some odds and ends on this one. Uh, first off, I want to congratulate the uh, Canadian women's soccer team winning gold at the Olympics. Uh, this uh, game uh, just played earlier today. And uh, yeah, it was uh, down to penalty shootout down to penalties this was Canada taking on Sweden and women's soccer uh, for the gold medal match and it went down to penalties in fact it went down to sudden death penalties an amazing game congratulations Canada winning gold for women's soccer and first gold uh, last two Olympics uh, Canada won the bronze uh, for women's soccer at both the Rio and London but now picking up gold so that is Awesome stuff. Okay, 50 years ago, uh, this album was released. I don't, you don't often see this one in the, you know, the 1971, 50 years ago uh, list, but this is Elton John's so soundtrack uh, to the movie Friends, a movie I have never seen. And again, this is 1971, so this is long before the Friends television show. Uh, but I picked this up recently, and this is sealed, a sealed copy. Now, whether this is uh, a first release from 1971 or a later release. This uh, this actually did go gold. Uh, they had deleted the this album. In fact, this album has a uh, nice little hole punch in the uh, corner there. And it was hard to pick up on, on vinyl or CD. Uh, the last time that they had released this was on the Elton John Rare Masters uh, double CD where they put the soundtrack as part of that. But it's been hard to hard to pick this one up or hard to find. I'm surprised they haven't re-released re this one for like a record store day or something like that. But this is actually sealed. So I thought it'd be fun to open this album. And maybe it's not an original release. I really don't know. There doesn't seem to be any indication that it seems to be a later uh, issue as I mentioned it's got the delete hole in the corner but of course uh, Elton John Bernie Toppin uh, original soundtrack uh, so I thought wow if this album hasn't been opened in 50 years <laughs> let's open it up let's do the sealed to revealed now I'm not expecting uh, anything uh, special inside uh, that sort of thing but how cool if this album actually hasn't been opened in, in 50 years. So let's just quickly open it up and it looks like a standard <laughs> paper sleeve. No, no bells or whistles or anything special inside. Uh, but there you have that. And I do like the uh, title track of Friends, which often uh, comes up in some uh, Elton John compilations. But there you have this on uh, Paramount. There's that and that. So maybe opened or sealed for 50 years and just opened today, but uh, there you go. Elton John and Friends. Okay, and as just uh, quickly some CDs that I picked up recently. I haven't seen much discussion on this one. Uh, Miles Davis, uh, Merci Miles, live in Vienne. Uh, not to be confused with Vienna, this is uh, Vienne, France. And uh, this is uh, from 1991, so this is uh, pretty much uh, uh, from Miles Davis's last tour. Uh, again, where he's doing covers like Human Nature, Time After Time, uh, Prince's Penetration. And uh, yeah, I mean, I found I really enjoyed this album. This is a double, uh, double CD. I'm assuming uh, it's a double album or maybe. But it's maybe not my favorite uh, Miles Davis time because again he's really kind of getting into covers. But it, it is pretty funky and the band is good and considering uh, how, how bad his health was uh, and of course he would later die uh, in the year 1991. But uh, considering how bad his health was this is a great show, a great performance, and the band really gets quite funky. I really did quite enjoy this, and it's got a nice little booklet uh, inside. And I'll just show you the one CD here, like that. And I just put the hype sticker on the inside. It came with quite a, quite a generous hype sticker, and it says, uh, basically, uh, historic performance available for the uh, Available in its original order, sorry, for the first time ever. A musical farewell to France and the world from Miles' final tour featuring staggering performances. And there you have that. I'll just show you the other CD. And I understand that there's going to be more Miles coming out. Apparently a big Paris concert is going to be forthcoming that a lot of people are looking forward to. And then the book just slips in the middle like this. And a quick look at the booklet.
And there you go. And of course, this was also the uh, uh, big European tour where he would do the uh, uh, very special uh, Montreux uh, concert with uh, Quincy Jones, where he uh, did some of his older material. Okay, so there's that. Uh, in terms of other uh, CDs that I have picked up, uh, I have also picked up uh, the Bare Naked Ladies, uh, latest one, uh, the great Canadian band, still going strong, Bare Naked Ladies, and this is Detour de Force. Uh, the first three tracks are just great in terms of just the whole fun Bare Naked Ladies sound, Flip, uh, Good Life, which I really do uh, like, and uh, New Disaster. The rest of the album, there's a, a fair amount of ballads on, on it, but it's an enjoyable album to listen to for sure. You know, and they're still having fun. And I'll just quickly show you the CD. And this is also available on vinyl. And I think the vinyl actually has an extra track, which is quite ironic. I mean, back in the day uh, when CDs were coming out, it was always the extra track on the CD as opposed to the vinyl, whereas now you're getting the extra track on vinyl instead of the CD. Okay, there's that. And then I also picked up uh, Van Morrison. This is uh, Latest Record Project Volume 1, and this is a double CD. I, I'm not sure if it's three or four uh, albums, uh, vinyl, uh, but this is this has uh, 28 tracks of Van Morrison. Incredibly uh, prolific, but now Van Morrison, <laughs> certainly with this, and in light of some of the recent songs he has uh, uh, put out uh, digitally, he's really getting into grumpy old man uh, category. The band is great, and the band still has that really nice kind of soulful R&B sound, but you're, you're getting uh, uh, tracks like Where Have All the Rebels Gone, Psychoanalyst Ball, uh, tracks like uh, Stop Bitching, Do Something, and Why Are You on Facebook? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I, I, it's enjoyable to listen to, uh, you know, if you're not uh, concentrating too, too much uh, on the lyrics. So this is the nice uh, little uh, booklet. Uh, which of course has all the uh, lyrics and uh, but he uh, you know he's he's definitely getting into kind of the the grumpy old man category so yeah it's just uh, quite simply all the lyrics uh, included there and I just put the hype sticker here and then the uh, CDs uh, in either side like that and, and like that so it's a nice little uh, presentation uh, for this but my gosh like I mean this is his latest album and it's 28 tracks like it's unbelievable how much material he keeps putting out and it's interesting when we talk about to 50 years ago with Elton John's Friends uh, released 50 years ago uh, this was also uh, performed uh, 50 years ago we're talking about the concert for Bangladesh now we have all the of course the uh, the news and the hype of uh, the uh, George Harrison All Things Must Pass uh, box sets uh, but yeah it was August uh, 50 years ago the concert for Bangladesh Bangladesh, which really sent the template uh, for more of these types of shows in terms of all-star shows for a cause where you're pretty much you're not going to be playing your deep cuts or your long lost classics you're going to be playing the hits that people want to hear and what's fascinating is on that uh, on that Sunday in August early August uh, they did two shows a matinee and an evening uh, performance so I gave this gave this a spend they had mentioned this on uh, uh, word in your ear or word in your attic I'll leave a link to that show uh, that's a it's a great uh, great podcast and great interviews on that YouTube channel but they mentioned this you know 50 years ago so I gave this a spin and I was really uh, really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed Bob Dylan's uh, set on this and I guess it was touch and go whether Bob Dylan was even going to actually appear at the concert but uh, he put in a great set and I really uh, enjoyed uh, Bob Dylan's uh, set on this so yeah 50 years ago concert for Bangladesh uh, performed so there you go so that's going to wrap it up uh, for this one I'll leave uh, links to more uh, great uh, YouTube channels and the VC vinyl community or related uh, that you can check out so uh, do take care bye bye